Hello, this is Eric Tabor, Sports Information at the University of Montana. I'm up here in the corner, and on FaceTime with me from California is Josh Watkins. Josh, how are you today? Great, great. Josh is the newest signee for Montana men's tennis. We're excited to have you, Josh. First, why don't we just start off, tell us a little bit about yourself, your background in tennis, and uh, how you became a Grizz. Okay. Um, my dad played at a BYU played four years. He always loved tennis, and he started teaching me when I was just a little kid, four or five. Um, I always liked the sport. I played everything as a kid, but then at 11, 12, I decided to switch full-time to tennis. I dropped basketball, football, and started training full-time. Um, I didn't really go the normal route that a lot of tennis players do by doing an academy. I stayed in normal school, um, went to middle school at uh, Card Hall. I went to high school at Sage Hill, and then after two years, I transferred to Newport Harbor. Um, around freshman year, I did uh, start going part-time to ATA, or Advantage Irvine. And before that, I mainly practiced with my dad, a few other private coaches, um, mainly independent stuff, and then I kind of branched out. Academy setting. Um, I got in touch with Coach Brown over the summer, and I was just very impressed with what he had to say. He sounded like a super nice guy. Um, so he invited me to visit the campus, and when I saw it, I knew that it was the right fit. I mean, loved the, loved the coach, loved uh, the teammates that I did meet. Campus is great, it looks beautiful. I moved to Montana when I was 13. And that kind of got a little complicated. I, yeah, I uh, had a good thing going with um, school and tennis in California, so I decided to stay there during the school year. Yeah. Um, my mom is with me down here, and my dad spends most of his time in Montana. Very and then cool. over the summers for tournaments, whenever I have the chance, I try to get back. So let's talk about that a bit more. You know, you, you just like you said, you spend some of your year up here, most of your year down in California where, hey, the warm weather allows you to play a bit more tennis. You don't have to worry about, uh, you know, snow-covered courts, all that kind of stuff. Um, but what is that connection like for you to the state of Montana? What drew you to want to come up here? Um, obviously, you said the campus is nice, but what made you want to come back home, as it were? I've just always felt more relaxed at peace um, happy in Montana I mean I love California I love, I love both states and they're both kind of home to me but I just re was really impressed with everything that I saw I, um, when I was doing filling out the application and looking at some of the stories and experiences of um, other graduates it's just kind of the experience I wanted to have I knew I either wanted to stay in California for college or do somewhere in, Mon somewhere in Montana or somewhere, I don't know, it was, between those, it was between those two states. Cool. Well, so you kind of touched on it there, but, um, you know, what, what are you hoping to study while you're here? What is it about the academic side of the University of Montana made you want to come here and start uh, pursuing your academic goals? Well, uh, I just submitted my application to the Honors College, and I got into that, so I'm psyched. Congratulations. But, uh, That's pretty awesome. Yeah, thank you. I'm trying to pursue the uh, Presidential Leadership Scholarship. Um, I think the interview's in February, so I'm looking forward to that. In terms of what I want to major in, I haven't thought um, too much about the specific subject, but I do know that I uh, want to kind of broaden academic prospects. I want to study as much as I can. I was thinking about maybe doing something with history because it's always my favorite subject. Um, I've been thinking about going for the Rhodes Scholar thing. Very so, cool. We've, we've, had, we've had guys in some experience with the Rhodes Scholarship uh, here in the athletic department. And one of our former football players was a finalist for the Rhodes Scholarship uh, by the name of Derek Crittenden. So we've got a bit of experience around to hear about that. But um, Obviously, you take your academics very seriously, and you let you take your tennis very seriously as well. 
what else you like to do in your free time what uh, when you're not doing both of those things if you have any free time that is um i do yes i do have a lot more free time this year than i did last year junior year was was not very fun um but i've i love surfing when i'm in california i love um hanging out going to the beach doing fun activities with my friends when i'm in montana i love hiking wakeboarding wake surfing my parents never really uh, let me hunt or anything, but that's something I've always been interested in, climbing. I've always been a very outdoorsy person, so whenever I have free time, I'm trying to find something uh, rigorous, lots of rigorous activity to do. Very cool. We'll talk a bit more about your family, too. Your, your dad, you said, played tennis at BYU. Uh, yes. what, kind of a, what kind of an impact has he had on your, your tennis career and your decision to pursue uh, tennis at the college level. Um, he pretty much kickstarted the whole thing. Um, he got me to be a really like solid player, and he's kind of nurtured my love for the game. He always um, has been the one getting me to tournaments, um, helping me like when I was younger sign up for them, kind of know the what to play, what not to play, who to get in contact with. Since he did play in college, he knew what the experience was like, and hearing about his experience on the team is something that I've always wanted to do, and something that I wanted to uh, kind of. But I wanted to follow in his footsteps for that because he said there is like no experience can compare to it. So that's very cool. Cool. Well, so um, you know you've got a a well-rounded resume, a lot of uh, academic success. What are your aspirations? You know, maybe maybe pro tennis, maybe uh, what else is in there in the professional working world? Um, I really want to go into medicine. My uh, uncle and my mom are both in medicine. My mom's a pediatric nurse practitioner. My uncle's an emergency room doctor. Um, I've heard, like since I was a kid, a lot of stories about what they do, lives they save, and kind of their whole experience. Um, that's something I've been very interested in since I was a little kid, and I do know I want to go into something in medicine. Very cool. Well, Josh Watkins, thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Looking forward to having you here on campus in the fall, and uh, until then, have a have a great summer. All right, I will. Thanks for the interview.